in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed God's ability Spirit of the Lord
take your place in the midst of your people we have nothing to say until you speak to us we ask you tonight in the name of Jesus take your place only your presence brings freshness only your presence brings illumination Oh, take a hold of my spirit, my soul, my body, my intellect. I align, I align, I yield myself. Take a hold of my body, my spirit, my soul, my faculties. May they come under the influence of the Holy Spirit. May they come under the influence of the mighty one. Sing in the spirit. Make melodies from your inner man.
Just keep worshiping. Just keep worshiping. Yeah. There's something about the presence of When you see that we keep singing like this, it's because the Holy Spirit is doing something. Whenever he stands, you, you hook on to what he's doing and you don't rest. Please help me sound. Just a song that I heard in my spirit now. Oh, oh. Just a human.
Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, My glory will I share with no man. I share my glory with no man. This honor no man takes to himself. I will do a walk in your midst, said the Spirit of the Lord. And it will be swift. It will be swift. I will do a walk in you. And it will be swift. I will make you the tabernacle of my glory, said the Spirit of the Lord. I will do a walk in you and it will be swift. I will do a walk in you and it will be swift. Through the ashes and through the pain, I birth my glory in you, say the Spirit of the Lord. Through the ashes and through the pain, I birth my glory in you. Through the ashes and through the pain, I bring upon you new mantles. I bring upon you new graces. Yeah. prophecy is falling on people right now right now right now I see it like like a cloth like a garment is a spiritual garment is falling on people right now the spirit of prophecy yeah. 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 even outside I see it like a garment falling on people yeah. of prophecy yeah. is like a garment men and women are wearing that garment right now yeah. prophetic word to the worship team new songs from heaven say the spirit of God new songs upon our worship team new songs upon our worship team is coming like mantles upon your spirit it's like radio waves into your spirit man worship team radio waves you will bet songs in the spirit you will bet songs in the spirit you will bet songs in the spirit you will bet songs in the spirit. Songs in the spirit. You will hear them in the night time as you sleep. You will hear them in the morning. You will hear the voice of angels. They will sing those songs. And you will pick those signals. They are songs of new seasons. They are melodies of victory. They are songs of triumph. 
there are songs that speak the language of victory there are songs that empower the saints they open them to new dimensions in the spirit they are songs of the lamb they are songs of the lion they are songs from heaven they are sounds of the spirit yeah. says I'm announcing to you that seasons of victory are ahead the Lord says I'm announcing to you that seasons of victory are ahead beyond the shadows are new realms of victory beyond the pain are new dimensions of triumph beyond the shadows are new levels of grace for you will sing this song in the days to come say the spirit of the Lord they are sounds of victory only the victorious can sing this song they are melodies of triumph they are melodies of victory say in the spirit of the lord yeah, yeah, yeah. the Lord says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old weep not for I bring you new joy say the spirit of the Lord I bring to an end your season of weeping I bring to an end your season of weeping you may not know how it will happen but I will move by my wisdom say the spirit of the Lord you do not need to know how it will happen for it will be swift and it will be strange say the spirit of the Lord you may not know how it will happen, but it will be a move of the spirit. And like the twinkling of an eye, I will put a melody upon your lips. A song of victory. A song of victory. A song of victory. Yeah. say unto you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old forget about the pain of the past for the glory that is before you is greater than the pain of the past it has been a season of birthing say the spirit of the lord have i not said as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son you have been in a season of birthing the pains are for a reason the pains are building strength in you to contend with the seasons of glory that are ahead. Weep not, my child, say the Spirit of the Lord. Weep not, for the lamentations of yesterday will be a sound you will hear no more in your destiny. For the lamentations of yesterday will be a sound you will hear no more. Yeah. Rejoice for your salvation, draw it nigh. Say in the spirit of the Lord, rejoice for your salvation, draw it nigh. Rejoice for your salvation, draw it nigh. I say again, it will be swift. It will be swift like the twinkling of an eye. It will be swift. Yeah. 
Spirit, go ahead. Make those melodies to him in the spirit. Let the melodies rise. It's an incense of worship. It's an incense of worship. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord. Chariots fighting battles this is what i see in the realm of the spirit i see battles contentions i see a mighty warfare going on in the realm of the spirit a warfare for the new levels i see the arsenals of hell being torn down and i hear the saints with tears in their eyes shouting the song of the lamb and the song of victory Just keep soaking in the glory. There is warfare going in the realm of the spirit. Don't think you are wasting your time. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. a little further just press a little further don't be tired Creation will worship. Creation 
will worship his majesty sing it the nations will worship It's unto you, O oh God. It's unto you. Let this rise as an incense of worship. mighty presence of God in this place there is a strong manifestation of the spirit of prophecy many of you will begin to prophesy 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 it's a strong unction of the spirit it's not the programming of the flesh it's by the strength of the spirit yourself that all you get in God's presence is just the word worship teaching then you share the grace you must always come into God's presence expecting him to move in any way and to do anything believe me you may not know the kinds of activations that are happening to people right now in this place see Church is not designed just to be a place where you come and sit down and watch people and laugh. There are times that all you need is to come and press into an encounter. That you step out of that meeting and all of a sudden your sensitivity, something has happened. All of a sudden you find out that the burdens are lifted. All of a sudden you find out 
that the chains are broken all of a sudden you find out that the power that comes from the throne does something to your life this is what his presence does see that all of a sudden in that atmosphere when the spirit of prophecy the bible says the testimony of jesus every time the true spirit of prophecy comes into a place all of a sudden the spirit of god meeting the needs of people touching people challenging people opening them up explaining to you your encounters of the secret place showing you why the things that happen happen giving meaning to your encounters this is the only way church will not be boring yeah, 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 Listen, all I'm seeing in the spirit is light, light falling on people. That's all I'm seeing. It's an illumination, strong impartation of light that's what is happening all over the building god is opening the eyes of men giving explanations for some of you the light that is coming is direction strange direction by the spirit some of you this light that is coming is answered prayers that's the answer to prayers coming as that light from the throne Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us have robbed the Holy Spirit from finding expression. Some of these songs you see me coming, bringing from the Spirit. Many of us, God has been wanting to pass through you. But this rigidity we put, there is, there is a sense of religion. I am busy trying to make money, trying to read books, trying to be successful. We, our spirits are not malleable enough for the Holy Spirit to pass through us. The restraint is too much. That's why we don't get this sound. That's why our discernment is very low. Because we are busy. It takes, it takes staying in the present. Let me tell the truth. You will never touch certain frequencies in the spirit. When you are busy around trying to combine spirituality and many other things. The presence of God is a full time assignment. You must stay. Stay until the sound comes. Stay until the melodies come. Stay until the power comes. For when he comes, he comes with light. For when he comes, he comes with ease. For when he comes, he comes with illumination. Many of you have been praying, Oh Lord, take me to a new level. It's not just by prayer. Stay in the presence. Stay in the glory. That's the key. That's the secret. It's not just moving around. No, the glory doesn't just fall overnight. When you stay, your spirit man begins to acclimatize to the frequency of the spirit. That's how it works. It's not a hit and run thing. You just rush and come out. And then you want to hear with accuracy. Then you want his glory to flow. It doesn't work like that. There is a, there is a staying. There is a staying. I tell you. It's a law. You must stay. 
the church has learned to hurry God and we are hurrying the glory of God out of our lives there are many of you here listen when you started out with God you had the time and the staying power but I don't know what it is that has happened God is challenging us that secret place is now a strange place for many of us we are busy doing ministry we are busy trying to make a living we are busy trying to move around the church has lost the art of the secret place the secret place is not a place it's a place where you stay like a waiter stay until his glory comes and then when his glory comes there is a signature upon your life undeniable the secret place is the place of power the secret place is the place where you have a message if God does not sit upon you with his glory you have no message you can talk it's not about Rema it's about the presence that follows it you can preach all you can but there is a glory this is a testament of his visitation upon your life that's what creates impact that's what breaks chains I like you to pray and say Lord show me your glory greater levels of your glory please pray expose me to that realm superior dimensions of your glory I have tasted of your glory I have seen what your grace can do but Lord there is a desperation within my spirit to taste of something tangible down if you can for those who can sit there will be many impartations the spirit of prophecy is strong in this place night Some of you will never recover from tonight's meeting. I tell you, you will not even know what is happening to you. It's an encounter. Listen, listen. If you're a man of God in this place, I submit to you. You are wasting the time of God's people if you cannot convey the presence to that atmosphere. Yeah. That's how habits are broken. That's how chains are broken. That's how impartations happen. It's not just by laying on of hands. How many people can you lay your hands on? Let the glory come and there is transformation. Let the glory come and something is happening in people. Let the glory come and testimonies, sicknesses. Many of you are sitting down right now and sicknesses will just disappear. No, it can't stand the glory. Prayer lives have been revived different dimensions of the spirit that's why the place is called koinonia it's not a place of discussion it's an atmosphere of encounter Lord, let nothing restrain your hand in the midst of your people. Let nothing restrain your hand. Don't rob God from finding a vessel in you. Don't rob God 
from finding a truly anointed vessel in you. See, let me tell you something. If you follow these rubbish people are doing of just visiting God's presence to come and receive breakthrough and prosperity and power and rush back, you will never find God that way. Please believe me when I tell you this. God is not an object you use. You see that? There are some of us, our gifts are dormant for a very long time. Very long time. That press in the spirit to activate you. Listen, it's an anomaly when you remain in the same spiritual level for a very long time. Something is wrong. And when you are rising, it's obvious. Everybody knows that there is a transition. Some of us are in the same position for a very long time because we are giving God barely enough see that there are some of us our dreams have ceased our visions have ceased our encounters have ceased our passion for his glory has ceased listen every time the experience you used to have with God ceases something stopped it it never stops by default are we together now there are many of us you used to see things before they happen right now it has dried up out of nothing because you are trying to look for a wife or look for a husband hallelujah dry up there's nothing there again no power no grace all these things we keep making noise around it in church one person falls down, one person falls down and we jump around. That's nonsense. There are higher dimensions. There are superior levels in the spirit. Beyond calling names and phone numbers. There is the spirit, not the gift of prophecy. There is the very spirit of it. The very operation of the prophetic realm. Where people receive testimonies of Jesus without you speaking any message. The spirit of prophecy. Men live with encounters they cannot explain. No matter how hardened you are, when you come into this atmosphere, something must surrender. That's what happens when his presence comes. You cannot change men by the excellency of persuasions. No. It doesn't work that way. The presence. That's what brings transformation. The presence. That's what brings change. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's only a price that very few desire to pay. Because we like things cheap. We like things easy. Anything that commits us, we do not want. We want results, but we hate process. Or we want to be mightily used. You want to stand and see the glory of God move around. Brother, there is a price. It's not a gift, it's a reward. It's a reward for diligence. It's a reward for surrender. It's a reward for total yieldedness. I used to hear Benny Hinn say it. Total yieldedness. That's the price for the anointing. Total yieldedness. Not half-hearted yieldedness. How many musicians are here? You have not brought one song from the Spirit. It's, it's, a, it's an indictment on your call. It's an indictment of, on your gift. There are melodies in the spirit like waves. But there is a frequency with which your spirit must rise to. And then you will capture these things. The, the level of the sophistication of your spirit is the level to which you will capture. Many of us, our prayer lives have died, gone cold, gone cold, gone cold. You only pray until you feel tired. See, let me tell you why many of us, our prayer lives are not effective. We are only praying to justify prayer. You don't pray for the purpose of touching realities in the spirit. You see that? Yes. At, you can pray and then after one hour or two hours, you can say, I have tried. That's a different, you are only praying to be better than somebody else. But there is a way you come with a desperation. And you pray that your spirit will make contact. If that contact happens in 10 minutes, you end. If that contact happens in 5 hours, you continue. See, it's not about religion. 
but it starts with a desperation a desperation a desire the first message the Lord is communicating tonight is let there be a revival in your spirit man get back those mantles and those gifts wherever you threw them let those dreams come alive again because in those dreams are the puzzles of your destiny a little here a little there before the year runs out we're going to take a teaching on angels and the ministry of angels you see many of us have lost touch with spiritual reality it's dangerous in this time and age to just move sensually that the limit of your perception is a three-dimensional realm you will be a victim of too many things you've got to access a frequency that is higher than the material realm to supply you the strength and the illumination hallelujah i challenge everyone here there is more that god can do with your life if you will give him space god is not a boyfriend he's not a girlfriend he's not looking for an affair he wants a relationship a very serious one you give god an affair you will get nothing out of it if god is one of the many important things in your life believe me you will never find him believe me you will never find him listen listen this desire is not for men of god this desire is for everyone who wants god don't you think that this bias is for pastors no no the spirit of man was designed to only find satisfaction in his presence nothing in this world will satisfy oh jesus you're the cup that pulls you on dry nothing in this world will satisfy jesus you're the cup that pulls Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Sing it just one more time. Your presence, Your presence is heaven. Is heaven to me. Presence is heaven to Your me. presence is heaven to me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome everyone. This is Koinonia. God bless you especially for our visitors and many who are coming for the first time. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now today our meeting will be very different we are going to take i'll respond to a few questions and answers praise the lord the holy spirit put it in my heart there are so many of us that have questions about the holy spirit about encounters spiritual growth will give us an opportunity maybe 30 minutes and then i'll just minister to people there are people who need to be ministered to and so that's what we're going to do help us with another mic please um now I know that, please listen, many of us have questions, especially as regards intimacy, encounters, our spiritual lives. I'm trusting that God will grant grace. We we'll use all the questions as a message and just communicate it. And please, I want you to feel free. Make sure that you ask questions that are applicable to our spiritual growth, not just something that is a bias. For some of us, is something regards prayer your prayer life um your word life if there's no mic you can i can take one and then you can use this hallelujah and so um 
because it's not only important to teach there are some of us who have encountered certain challenges maybe in the dispensing of the gift of the spirit in our lives or anything that has to do with the holy spirit and intimacy and our spiritual growth and i'm trusting that god will grant us um a few minutes that's deliverance happening to her something is leaving her that devil of darkness leave her right now in the name of jesus christ there's one other lady with this same situation right now in this place the power of god is coming upon her this is a spirit that has been tormenting her lord wherever that lady is right now i declare deliverance by the power of the holy spirit that lady is in the congregation here in the name of jesus christ it's like fire that will come upon you i judge that spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ right now i decree judgment i pass a note of judgment to that wicked spirit that is bringing oppression praise the lord so we're going to have a little q and a and i'll respond and maybe uh, on one or two occasions we can allow one or two people to respond the questions will bless many of us because it will answer it will attempt to answer or solve some of the puzzles that are around our lives i don't want our spiritual lives to be um, without accuracy some of us may have been making the same mistake for a long time that's why we are not getting certain results spiritually hallelujah some of us may be pressing into god for instance there are people who press into god but necessarily they find out that they are always backsliding not that they are sleeping around or doing anything immoral but that staying power is like there is a spiritual meter every time you get to a dimension it pulls you back you are making progress but the graph is not straight it's like it goes up forces you down then you have to pray and fast your way there are many of us who do not know how to command strength in the spirit like a gentleman who uh, i think someone sent me a text i don't know if he's here he sent me a text in the afternoon um, and he said every time he's in the presence of god or anytime he's talking to people about the glory of god he starts yawning mysteriously like yawning and um, some of you are already nodding in agreement it's happening to me too what is the meaning of that <laughs> are you yawning out demons are you absorbing the glory what exactly is happening so um please be smart don't be rude to the protocol people just walk as they direct you we're going to have a few questions um i will use the questions some of the questions will actually culminate to teachings and i'll use the opportunity and just address things don't be biased make sure that you ask things that are relevant if your question is not relevant to our meeting we ignore it is that all right let's pray in one minute and say father speak to me go ahead and pray thank you jesus hallelujah praise the lord okay so um we'll come in threes we'll just have the first three they will stand and then if there's any need so let me see by wave of hands i'll point people out okay number one you can stand up come second number two and then um let's have a lady figure all right that lady waving her hands in blue come quickly appreciate them as they come be smart tell us your name straight to the point if you're wasting our time please we'll, we'll send you to your seats let me tell you in advance so you are not embarrassed go ahead turn to the congregation god bless you go ahead okay good evening sir is it working yes sir um good evening sir thank you yes, bless sir. you yes sir my question is um about visions visions yes sir what, what are they visions okay yes sir what are they and are visions a sign of spiritual growth that's um like spiritual visions are they limited to a particular set of people people who do not have them as frequently as are they growing? yes are they is it a sign that they are growing okay I, I want to visions are a dimension of supernatural encounters right um there are many levels dimensions and types of supernatural encounters 
visions are just um, a dimension of supernatural encounters that affords a person an opportunity to access realities in the spirit it could be realities that reveal the past the present or the future you understand it could also be realities that expose that person to um, spiritual happenings now the whole goal of visions and, and i want us to pay attention the whole goal of visions and encounters any supernatural encounter is prophetic in its dimension are we together now so every time we talk of prophecy it's not just speaking any encounter that exposes you to access any realm beyond the physical is a prophetic dimension so in every man there is a prophetic dimension let me call it a latent prophetic dimension now those who are called into the prophetic or apostolic office the advantage of the apostolic office is that on the strength of that office you can work you should work in all the fivefold offices because it's an administrative office it heads and coordinates the spiritual activities are we together now but in a typical prophetic office by default the moment you there is an election of grace upon you inclined towards that prophetic office there are it's like spiritual configurations by default are we together now now your spiritual life and your spiritual growth can add to it but anybody called into the prophetic office or any dimension of prophetic operations by default can be open to the realm of the spirit that's why you can find people seeing visions who are not born again are we together now remember he told jeremiah the prophet he said while you were in your mother's womb i had already called you and ordained you to be a prophet are, are we clear now so visions and generally all supernatural encounters are a dimension of the prophetic and the goal of visions dreams is illumination and direction sometimes also impartation it gives you illumination access to light and information right sometimes it gives you direction but in many cases it also comes with impartation that's why some of us can have dreams have visions encounters we don't exactly know why they came but they leave residues of impartations as we get up and begin our normal life we see that certain possibilities in the spirit has been activated and we may not know at what point it was activated like wisdom like certain virtues do you understand so now but that does not mean listen if you are truly growing spiritually right even if you are not called into the prophetic dimension or prophetic realm if you are growing spiritually the the presence of god has a prophetic effect on everyone whether you're a prophet or not this is the reason why somebody on the strength of sheer intimacy with the holy spirit can access a level that will make him look like a prophet but in reality he's not a prophet he's just one who has pressed into god to an appreciable dimension it's like an aura of god's presence now the bible does not use visions and dreams to qualify spiritual growth although experience has shown us that as you progress spiritually you will begin to um, get impulses it's called spiritual perception in fact i preached a message on that you can get it with the media after the service are we are we understanding now because there are some of us here who are praying we love god but aside from dreams and maybe what we call intuition what people like kenneth hagin will call the knowing of the spirit we've not had any supernatural encounter as it were and sometimes we get intimidated and i think i must correct that because some of us get intimidated because someone is now talking and saying um um Ogashew saw something and he's prophesying and he's saying oh i saw something and you you are standing frustrated that you do not have visionary encounters in terms of um encounters you are awake you are alive and you are caught up or a picture comes before you or the audible voice of god or some kind of supernatural encounters it does not mean you are not growing spiritually are we together now there are two spiritual indices to measure spiritual growth number one is your degree of conformity into the image of the christ that's the first biblical sign of spiritual growth 
So if you are born again and there is no transformation in you, you are not conforming to the image of Christ, believe me, your salvation is questionable. In fact, let me, let me press on this before we continue. There are many people who think they are born again. And, and please, I don't want you to doubt your salvation, but I must be sincere with you. There are many people who think they are born again. And I tell you the truth by the Lord, they are not. They are not saved. The meaning of that is if they die today, they are going to hell. Are we together now? Please, don't, don't trivialize salvation. Salvation is the, is the supplanting of the very life of God in a mortal man. Are we together? The Bible says you are born of the incorruptible seed. Remember? Of the word of God. So there is a seed. The same way a man plants a seed in his wife. What do you expect that seed to do? There should be fertilization. Is that true? And eventually, as time progresses, that seed, right, begins to produce. So you cannot tell me you are born again. Listen, that you are born again. The life of Christ is in you. And you are exposed to the atmosphere of the spirit. And progressively, we do not see, after a prolonged period of time, evidences of conformity to the image of Christ. Something is wrong with that salvation. Are we together now? So it's very, very important. So that's one index. The second index is your degree of comprehension. The degree to which you are having understanding on the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom. So that your degree of conformity, to what degree do I see Christ in you? In fact, Paul puts it this way. He said, my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed in you. He was talking to people who were already saved. So conformity to the image of Christ and access to the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom. These two will naturally produce empowerment, impartation, access to the anointing. Are we together now? So that's it about vision. God bless you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, sir. So I want to know... Well, What's your name? My name is Oko Sampotensi. Okay, yes. When um, you, there is a signal that an attack is coming on your spiritual life, and you you pray against it but then actually you are going down spiritually sorry again you're going down spiritually your spiritual life you are going down spiritually yeah kind of you have an attack is coming on your spiritual life and then you attack from hell construct your question pray, very logical so that pray, prayer pray. life for instance is your going down life is going down yes and then you you pray you pray against it then a time comes that what the very incidents that causes you to go down finally happens although you prayed against it and it, it happens to um you you feel that okay you failed and then the spirit comes to um encourage you that as if it's it, it is it was proposed by god okay so what is the question so now? my question now is uh, when are, are those attacks actually and after the attack you grow higher are those attacks actually um ingredients to for you to grow spiritually to live you the level a, you are you mean a demonic attack uh, on your spiritual life for instance okay um his, his question has many sides to it i'm not getting exactly what he's asking but if i understand you well you mean your prayer life is going down yes are we together yes and then what happens there is a there, there is even a, there is a knowing in you that there, there that, is an attack yes a demonic attack on yes, your life yes okay and then for instance there is maybe a habit God has delivered you from. And then there is a knowing that um, it's coming back or something. The devil wants to bring and it you back. Pray, yeah. And you pray against it, let it not be, let it not be and Lord. Then it still and then it happens. Okay. Then you feel like it's man, it's gone. Then there is an encouragement that as if this thing is proposed and then after that you feel a lifting higher. Okay. I think I get what you're saying. No, 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 no. It's not a habit is not proposed to lift you up spiritually. What you see is an interplay of your carelessness and the mercy of God and the grace of God. There are many things interwoven. So you don't justify that because you grew from it. It meant God brought it. Now we must understand that there are different attributes of God that um, it is part of the love of God. Now love in the spirit is not affection. Love in the spirit is a realm with many dimensions. There is a dimension of love called discipline. There is a dimension of love called judgment. There is a dimension of love called mercy. 
there is a dimension of love called justice are we together that's why paul says to know the length the breadth and he he gives love a dimension so when we say the love of god comes to you it can come as his goodness it has, can come as his chastisement are we together it can come as his mercy now you are a believer number one we have to examine what made your prayer life to go down right there are two reasons why your prayer life can go down number one it can be the natural fatigue that comes from the spirit and the flesh contending together according to galatians chapter 5 verse 16 it says this i say then walk ye in the spirit and you shall not gratify the desires of the flesh right so it says the flesh lusted after the spirit the spirit after the flesh and there is a contention you get up in the morning i mean there are ladies to resist there is beer to cast away there, there are all kinds of things to happen there is bribery and corruption to run away from at the end of it after a while it's like it's like wear and tear your spirit can be fatigued that's not backsliding that's simply a tiring because of your faculties that help you interact with the spirit at that point the solution is a retreat isaiah 40 verse 31 even the young men can be weary they can faint all right then but they that wait upon the lord but in a situation where it is an attack which often happens there are three seasons where satan attacks people number one at the birthing of something new the moment there is something new about to happen in your life, part of the many events that happen is a strange attack that has nothing to do with your spiritual life. You read the Bible and you find out it's not unusual, right? Very, very important. There is always a strange attack. Revelations, I saw a mystery. A woman who was carrying a man-child about to give birth to that child and a dragon came and stood waiting for the child to come so that she will eat now satan tries to stop you at the time of sowing your seeds any kind of seed spiritual seed if he cannot stop it he will try to stop the gestation period by bringing impatience taking advantage of your human nature that hope deferred makes the heart weary are we together now and if you cannot stop it then he will wait for you at the point of harvest so that he will abort the harvest these are the three seasons and stages of satan's attack so before you start ministry look at that he did it to moses stage one when moses was about to be birthed and conceived they wanted to kill all the people so to abort the destiny from day one now that it did not happen he wanted to implicate moses and he caused moses to kill somebody so that it will affect him the process and then eventually towards the end of his life he used anger and stopped him from entering so there are three stages of satan's attack are we together we see that even in the life of jesus jesus about to be born his star shines in the east wise men follow him herod wants to kill him are we together then later on again we see that through the process after his baptism satan comes to wait for him and then he tries to jeopardize his destiny by telling him i'll give you the kingdom bow down and since he refused and then he tried and tried and tried all through the lifetime of jesus satan could not get him and then the last stage was in hell when jesus was preparing to defeat all the cohorts of hell and come out all the demons and the principalities were on him to force him to bow and then he rose up and you know that when jesus was about to resurrect what happened they paid some people to lie even when he resurrected he, they guarded the place and when he resurrected they paid some people they said go and lie that the disciples came and stole his body so we see that there are seasons you can actually discern seasons where you know you are liable to attacks except you do not have spiritual intelligence now satan i'm using this are, are we getting blessed is god speaking to us satan is not omniscient there are three attributes that make god sovereign number one is his omnipresence his ability to be everywhere satan is not everywhere job 1 verse 1 from whence comest thou later on you read from running to and fro god doesn't run to and fro his eyes can see everything the all-seeing eyes of god are we together now number two his omniscience his ability to know all things 
Satan does not know all things. He works with informations. That's why he uses human agents to probe into people. That's why Satan pursued prophets. Because he wanted to hear what God was telling them. Are we together now? Very important. And then number three, his omnipotence. His ability to have all power. Once have I spoken, twice have we heard that all power belongs to the Lord. Now, Satan does not have these attributes. Are we together? So, Satan can discern seasons of breakthrough in your life. And that season is usually communicated in the spirit by unusual angelic activities. Satan was once a cherub. And so, he understands. Remember when Jacob slept, right? When you read Genesis 28. When Jacob slept, he saw a ladder. There were unusual activities happening. Are we together now? The same thing Jesus told Nathaniel. In John chapter 1, he said, you will see many things. you see the heavens open and all of that. So, what happens is that at a point where the devil sees that there are unusual activities or prophecy has revealed what God is about to do. That's why when prophecy comes, that's not the time to cross your leg. Paul spoke to his son Timothy. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecies. Because prophecy is an announcement. It's an unveiling. The moment the voice of God prophetically spoke, John said, behold the lamb. And a voice said, this is my beloved son. Satan started chasing him. Are we together now? So when there is an attack, it usually is that God is, is trying to do something in your life and Satan is trying to raise a counter-attack. At that point, if you understand the mysteries of the kingdom, there is a secret to tap into a higher supply of grace. Are you following me now? And that's the power of a retreat. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. They that wait. The moment you sense that there is a lot of boisterous activities in your life, and you will know it, by the intuition of the spirit. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will have it in visions. Some of you prophecies will come to you. And many of us who are used to rejecting prophecy. Now prophecy must not be exalted above the word of God. However, it's important to many times pay attention to it. Especially when it's coming from vessels that know God and are credible. It's important to pay attention. Praise the Lord. Very, very important. So when there is an attack... And it is a demonic attack. If it prevails over you, an attack is inevitable on the saints. And it's not a surprising thing. The surprise, however, is when Satan prevails. Are we together now? Because even in heaven there was war. The Bible said there was war in heaven. That, that dragon, Lucifer, he rose. An archangel, Michael, also rose. But Satan prevailed not. There was no place found for him and he was casted to the earth. And there was a lamentation. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. You know, Satan, that old serpent, he has come with anger and great fury. Are we together now? So if there is an attack, an affliction, the secret is prayer. And it's in a secret place. So if your prayer life died, it's because you did not build momentum before that time. Are we together? That's the reason why it is important for every believer to have what we call, it's like a spiritual bank. It's like an energy bank. So your daily prayer, the Bible says redeeming the time. That's the mystery. There are two words that are used time in the Greek. There is chronos and there is kairos. Chronos is the passage of time. Kairos is an opportune time or a set time. The Bible uses these two words in the book of Psalms. It said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time, chronos, to favor her. Yea, the kairos when you translate it to Hebrew, the set time. Are we together now? So, there is a set time, an opportune time, where major things happen between heaven. There is serious business between you and heaven. And at that time, the devil knows and he will launch attacks. So, what you do is you build a spiritual fortification, both spiritual intelligence and capacity in the place of prayer. So that at such time, it will sustain you. The Bible says, if you turn aside in the day of battle, what was wrong? Your strength, your spiritual strength now is small. So if you fell in that attack, it's because your strength was small. Are we together? Let's assume, let's use something, maybe pornography. Are we together now? 
and it's something God had delivered you from and you sense that the devil is trying to drive you again into porn, uh, pornography are we together now and then you fell to it that falling is not a test that falling is not the furnace of affliction we are talking about that you fell simply because your spirit did not sustain the strength and the energy to scale through but then in the midst of it the dimension of God's love called mercy comes in so don't confuse it that because you learn more from that situation it means it was God that orchestrated it God simply took advantage of it and allowed his mercy to prevail so that in your rising you will now rise better stronger and more anointed this is what makes God love are you getting it now but that does not mean God intended for you to necessarily fall the falling is simply the limitation of your spirit man I don't know if you understand what I'm saying yes sorry and uh, this is there are many people if yeah. you ask two two questions please if you come out after two questions you go and sit down and hope that somebody will ask your question are we together yeah um, this has been happening I will see some things I won't I will not know how to inquire for the meaning and when it happens later sometimes they are not good at times it posi it's is positive you will what sorry see for instance you will see yeah, things yeah, visions yes now. Now, like there was a time I saw myself traveling with a lady, and when it came, I didn't understand what it meant. When it came, you were traveling to, with a lady uh, to, a, a vision. to a place, yes. When it to came where? to a place, I didn't know we were going okay, to a place. Okay. No so location. The, okay. the reality was that the person was under attack, and I was the one to lead her to the prayer place. I'm uh, uh, not just, and that, that oh, was you where held she, and you were taking her yeah, to a place. Okay, that's where she got her. This thing, but I didn't understand the meaning then. Now, recently. I saw a, a lady, my cosmate, um, pick a bag and was traveling. I didn't know what it meant. The next day, uh, she actually told me she was, tra she was traveling to a place. I said, what for? She said, somebody just died there. Now, I understood that uh, maybe we were, if we had prayed about the journey and all of that, if it was a bad one. So, how does one, my question is, how would one be, uh, how would one know the meaning of the pictures you are seeing at the time of the vision to help your direction in prayers okay god bless you now there are two things here that our attempt to respond to I, I don't know if we understand his question but um after this we'll take three people from outside before we continue so protocol help us we'll get the three people from outside who have questions please you see how time is going if you come and you ask a question that doesn't make sense we have agreed as a congregation that we're sending you back please we intend to grow and we want to redeem the time are we together so please before you come make sure you are prepared not to disgrace yourself are we together ask questions seek counsel with your neighbor whether your question is constructive enough yes yes please please so that you don't you don't come out here and and waste our time but the gentleman was saying something that i consider to be important now i think the biggest error in the prophetic is lack of spiritual growth to contend for accurate interpretation the problem with the prophetic or visionary encounters usually three of us can see the same thing in the spirit but it does not mean the same for all three of us are we together now that's the problem i have with books that say if you see a chain it means oppression what if it's a chain watch that i saw what if it's a, a necklace to mean an ornament of royalty you can't just say, I saw a chain. It means I'm under attack. I, I remember a lady years ago who was pressing into God. And when she got to that dimension, she, she, a, another lady had a dream about her and saw her naked. And came and met her and started lambasting her and said, you are walking in immorality. What kind of nonsense life is this? You are giving us an impression like you are serious with God. Now your secret has been revealed. And the lady was depressed and she came and met me. That, that nakedness was a message in the spirit that she was becoming intimate with the spirit. But it was wrongly interpreted. Three of us can see a finger in the spirit. For one, it means warning. Stop what you are doing. For another man, one, it means direction. Come up here. Are we together? For another, it means I am blessing the works of your hands. We all saw the same thing. So it is wrong remember in the interpretation of the dream of 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 joseph and the wine presser and baker all of them saw three three things three basket three this he interpreted for the first one and he was happy then the other one said me too i have my own he said in three days they will hang you 
and this is established and they hung him after three days are we together so stop going around with predefined prophetic interpretations you only make certain prophetic interpretations predefined if the character of their operation has been established in the world for instance anywhere you see a dove is a representation of the manifestation of the holy spirit anywhere it's a spiritual symbol that the spirit of god has associated himself with except if you see a dove and you see it oscillating that's a that's deception for instance because according to the scriptures the enemy can parade himself as an angel of light are we together now so it is true that there are certain default symbols that help us communicate with visionary encounters but not just that you see you can see a woman in the spirit you can see yourself moving with a woman and you may think that god is punishing you from lo or lost a woman in the spirit is a gate that woman you are seeing could be that you are entering a new season are you seeing now but because you do not sustain that spiritual intelligence you go around casting something you should be prophesying to come and all of that so i think um for the gentleman i think i've been able to help him i i hope that i got his question correctly if i didn't i'm, I'm so sorry praise god yes my praise dear. god permit me to say this that first that is an honor to finally meeting you after listening to your message for a very long time god bless you thank you <laughs> thank you i i'm very thank happy you. i'm here tonight You're my welcome. question is to bawash it the first question is what do you do as a person when you're struggling with spiritual good? Today you are hope, tomorrow spiritual you are Spiritual growth. Uh, does Watch. it mean that um, it's like a graph that you'll be going zigzag, zigzag till you get to that final slope? Uh, or okay. is it that you question just stop? Two. The second question is, you're talking about dream and vision. In my lodge, we had a case where someone said he had a dream, blah, 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 blah. And it really caused a big advoc in my lodge. Look then. at the congregation. Okay. It, it really caused a big advoc in my lodge. I'm asking the question that... Does he had a dream about the lodge or something? About the sister, that the sister came to seduce him, blah, blah, blah. And everybody was now calling the sister a witch. That has, Does it mean that all dreams come from God? Okay. When we see dreams, does it mean that everything is, we see, it is coming from God? Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. Um, her first question was sometimes they should not go immediately so that they can remind me in case I've lost um, I'm interpreting them with my spirit so my mind is hardly here um, her first question was what up up and down okay okay listen 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 please what does the Bible say the path of the just is like a shining light that does what shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day now there is a difference between spiritual fatigue and backsliding i think i've, I've cleared i've cleared that all right for as long as you are wearing this body the limitations of carrying up mortality right the concept of immortality is a concept that is accessible but immortality is not an impartation immortality is the resultant effect of accessing light from the spirit because the bible says as we behold him we are changed now the problem usually is that our lifetime and our level of regeneration is so slow that our lifetime will not be able to help us change that fast that's why we die are we together now but it is possible that a man can contend for that dimension enoch did it elijah did it so we know that it's possible to live bodily although in a glorified form out of this earth moses didn't do it um and all of that but at least we have two witnesses two evidences in the bible that they were able to access that so when you find yourself see and, and this is her question is very instrumental to your spiritual health if you are sick and you don't know how many of you have seen people in the village who are sick they don't even know to them they are healthy you just test them and say, Mr. Man, you have malaria plus plus. And yet, the person is playing football. You not, now tell the person, go to the hospital. That's how many people are spiritually. And for me, your spiritual life is tested based on your passion for God. There are certain things that start happening in your life that you know there is danger. Number one, your prayer life. Your, when your prayer life is, is nose diving, don't ever pretend that it's a dimension of growth. You are backsliding. 
immediately once your prayer life is going down don't let satan fool you and say you are just in a season where uh, god doesn't want you to say anything or this and that and that be very careful because it could be deception to destroy you your spiritual life number two your passion for the word number three your passion for the house of god number four i want to call it your your sense of morality it's important if all of a sudden i sit down and i find out that i start lusting after you call me apostle call me whatever i'm lusting after you i came for koinonia i saw you abel is preaching cain is there disturbing his mind what do you think i'll do it will be stupid for me to wear suit again and come back i'll use the week to flog out that element of the flesh that is growing many of us ignore those promptings until it grows to a point where it backfires obviously that's when we start crashing in the moment see the bible says let sin have no place don't give the devil a foothold the moment you find out that there is a place there is there are certain things you are bending on your values you don't pray for three days or four days you feel all right very very all right you carry your bible and there is no zeal to read sometimes it could be in the presence of god you'll be able to find out whether it's spiritual fatigue or it is backsliding are we together but ultimately the difference between spiritual fatigue and backsliding is that under spiritual fatigue your passion is still there it's just the zeal and the strength to press through that is not there but under backsliding your zeal and your passion dies are, are we together now for the our brother that saw a vision that a lady is seducing him um that's that's wrong you see this, this is the problem we have when we live in christian communities because people wake up with all kinds of things i spoke to you about interpretation this brother may be a sincere person maybe he's here we are not creating fight are, you, are we together you don't know whether he followed you for koinonia you said he's in your lodge now the point is this it is wrong you see prophecy and in the realm of and the realm of the spirit also depends on your mental renewal for correct interpretation are we together i can guarantee you that this brother's spiritual paradigm fundamentally is faulty for him to see an innocent lady and call her a witch to say is he the only person in the lodge you'll be surprised it's not even maybe the most handsome or something so um it's, it's a wrong paradigm now you point do you know another thing it is possible that i can go to bed and see shall homer chasing me maybe with a stick in a dream are we together now and all of a sudden i wake up and i say i saw shall homer chasing me and his welfare that cooks for me i put two and two together and i say my life is under i'm in danger i mean and then i now dissolve koinonia welfare because they are trying to destroy apostle joshua selman some of you you have that paradigm now it can happen a possibility exists that such kinds of things happen i mean in the house of god there are all kinds of things but then i'm saying that your interpretation primarily should not be that because he saw a lady if he does not understand seek counsel there are there are spiritual puzzles that we put together you must let scripture interpret your encounters are we together now i mean in the bible women seduce men what was the progression of the seduction samson was seduced are we together who again was seduced in the bible huh job was not seduced who? joseph was seduced some of you are saying job look at how your poor but please how about this is koinonia don't were bible people How job was never seduced the only woman with him was his wife please don't go and say that anywhere it's very bad are, are we together now my dear so that 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 teaching even if it was true this is what i would have done if i had a dream and you pursue me or you are trying to sleep with me or something in a dream right even if it was your face it's wrong to get up and call you a witch do you know because you don't know what spiritual challenges she's facing you now get up and you now call her a witch three situations would help to interpret that number one it could be that there is a spiritual operation around your life and your family 
that birth seduction. It can be true. Are we together? That you as a person, you are not bad, but it's possible that you are being influenced by the spirit of lust or because of the background you are coming from. And so it will happen in the similitude of your face, disturbing that person. Are we together now? And so you will feel bad. Number two, it can be the spirit of confusion. The devil masquerading to now cause confusion. Are we together? So he will now use your face. Just like you saw your father quarreling you. You saw your mother beating you. You just got up and said your mother is a witch. Anybody, whether my father or my mother. The, the woman is innocent. You find out that we keep calling people witches and wizards who have no business with witchcraft. However, 80% of them are being influenced by spirits that operate in the character of what they were accused of. You see that? So, um, whoever he called a witch, I can guarantee you is not a witch. Please, she left her father's house to also come and do NYC. She's not a witch. She may not be spiritually strong and all of that, but she's not a witch. It may be wrong. So, go and comfort her. The brother, what he saw, when you have encounters, you are not guaranteed to have interpretation for them. But one thing you can do is blast in tongues sufficiently until your spirit man gives you a note of peace. At that point, you know that whatever is the issue, whether calling it forth or driving it away, it has been settled. It is for that cause the spirit of God makes intercession for us. I cannot tell you that every encounter I've had, I've had interpretation for. In fact, some of them may be years in the future as i grow spiritually or i have other encounters that piece them up together i now see the message but in the interim every time you wake up from an encounter praying in the spirit is the way forward and you pray until there is that check in your spirit that whatever it is it's been settled you understand so that's what you should do god bless you and increase you eh? okay straight to the point um we have okay Let's have one or two more people. Two more people. Please, if you are sure your question is really going to bless us, we have a little time. And do, please, and please don't ask anything here that we waste our time. Are we together? The gentleman, uh, if your questions will be fast, I can listen to it and combine it. That gentleman, there's a lady in the background. You, sister, the one waving your hands, come. Um, have we had anybody outside? Okay, there's one person outside. Okay, one usher, come. You're a worker, we love you, come. Okay, so quickly. Good evening, sir. How are so you? a process whereby... Don't look at me. As you're saying it, look at the congregation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. In the process whereby someone is suffering from the lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. Yes. Example, what is lust of the flesh? For Immorality. example, masturbation. Okay. Or lesbianism. And you are praying. Praying in tongues. Pray. You are in the process of prayers. And you are still having the feelings. In the prayers of praying, you, know, you are still struggling and struggling. You are trying to pray. The spirit is just trying and trying. So, sir, what do you What's do? the way forward? God bless you. Thank you. He's been very sincere. Look, let me tell you the truth. The goal of this question and answer session is to help us grow spiritually. There's nothing embarrassing about it. Praise God. There are people like that. In fact, I've seen people who are suffering from immorality or lust and they're on three days dry on the third day before they break with food are we together now the devil does some kind of things positions the same lady they used to sleep with and it happens again or internet pornography or whatever we've seen these kinds of cases so um do you know what deliverance is deliverance is not just coughing out things and rolling around and pushing chairs and bringing people here Deliverance is the spiritual mechanism with which a man is separated from a spirit or an influence over his life. Are we together now? There are three dimensions or three levels that access Satan in a man's life. Number one is called covenants. Covenants. It is usually the strongest of the three. Number two is disobedience or ignorance. Number two is ignorance. Then number three is disobedience. Now, the danger of covenant and ties is that your personal salvation does not take away the covenant that is in a territory. Are we together now? 
That is the reason why someone can be born again. There are still corrupt people in Nigeria. But are you corrupt? No. Are we together now? Nigeria is termed a corrupt nation. Yet there are righteous people who are true. Are we together now? The earth is the Lord. Yet they are still bombing children and disturbing people. So there are covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement between spirit entities and human beings or fellow human beings. Right? That either opens up access for good or of evil. Covenants have consequences. Right? They can, they can, they can transcend generations. So this is very important. That's why you find out that the classic sign of covenants is that there must be a pattern to it. The moment there is a covenant involved in any process, there is a pattern. If these three guys are brothers and you find out that Michael is very rich, Kenny is very rich, Promise is very rich, you see that pattern. There is a covenant that grants that access. Promise, very poor. Kenny, very poor. Michael, struggling. There is also a pattern. So, patterns are usually communications that the access point for the realm of the spirit in that situation is a covenant. So, you find out that a father is an armed robber. When he stole, his son did not know. Many years later, the son will also come and steal. Have you seen people like that? The same pattern that happened to their parents repeats themselves. Because the patterns are a spiritual formula. There is an enchantment like a spell that makes it happen. I know a lady who, who I, I, I think um, um, she got pregnant and the person who got her pregnant, I think was a man of God. Same thing happened to her mother. Same thing happened to her grandmother. One reverend in their village got the grandmother pregnant. Many years later, one, one evangelist or something got the mother pregnant. And then now one brother in a fellowship gets the lady pregnant. Now, that brother does not know the reverend that got uh, uh, um, grandma pregnant that time when she was young. But then, the truth remains that there is a pattern. Are, are we together? Are you getting it now? And I know that sometimes many of us are preached into believing they don't exist. And we try to explain them away. But the truth is, it's there. It can be dealt with. Potentially, the birth of Jesus gives us access to victory in this thing. But there is the experience of establishing that victory. Are we together? Number two is ignorance 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 grants access to demon spirits they manipulate on the ignorance of men and open them up to certain tragic manifestations then number three is disobedience you know it but your capacity to walk thereof in that obedience is not there so these are the three access points so if you find out that you are praying praying and fasting about the issue of lust or immorality or any entanglement and it's repeating itself you need help that's the reason why god puts um gifts to the body to be able to help right remember our teaching for this course many are weak many are sick and many do sleep god has elected certain people in the body of christ and created platforms that can be able to help people deal with these things that's why we organize miracle services that's why we organize um, um, all kinds of meetings that's why when we come to God's presence like this we take our time to soak in the glory so that the presence and the power of God can come and then address some of these things so for that brother you may need help seek help look for an anointed man of God not just a counselor somebody with an anointing that has been demonstrated to produce results and it can help you praise God praise the Lord my name is Luke my name is Luke it's talking about the presence of God. Okay. Uh, I heard of your message you preached about doers of the world. Okay. And uh, you mentioned, I forgot the man name, but you say pursuer of, of the presence. When we pursue, how do one pursue the presence of God? And how do we abide in that presence of God? Like in Psalm 91 verse 1, when it says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Sometimes I may get interpretation of that verse, but sometimes the interpretation does not suit me. So I'm asking, that how do one... What, do, what are the criteria for one to dwell in the presence of God and remain constant in the presence of God? Okay. There are parameters. Number one, you must consistently create an atmosphere. You see, I preached a message years ago called lo the law of atmosphere. Everything thrives based on the atmosphere created. The presence of God requires an atmosphere. The presence of God is invoked, just like you invoke spirits. 
there is an atmosphere that allows the presence of God to be made manifest. Are we together now? Worship is one key that opens up the presence of God. Your passion, your love towards God. In other words, you're prioritizing him. Making him your one and only and ultimate is one way to get the presence of God. Obedience in scripture. He that keepeth my commands, John um, um, 16, 21, I think I'm right. Or 14, 21. He that keepeth my commands, he it is that loves me. And I will love him and my father will love him and we will come and manifest ourselves to him. So the love of God is very, very important. Yes, my dear. Praise God. I'm precious, Moses. Um, I want to ask, uh, um, there's this friend of mine that I was preaching to. And um, she was telling me that there's no heaven, that we are going to stay here. There's no there's, heaven? Yes, and there's no hell. Uh, okay. So, now we're getting into I've, denominational. And, okay. Um, she was not, I was not telling her there is the no story heaven. of uh, Lazarus and the rich man. I now asked her that, okay, where did Lazarus went to and where was the rich man? Then she asked me to open to Revelation 21 verse 1. And after much argument, she was now asking me that. In Revelation 21, she said, and I saw a new heaven and a coming new down earth. ahead. And you know, she was now asking me that, okay, where is that new heaven? And the new earth. And I didn't know what to really tell. I just kept quiet. I was confused in that aspect. God bless you. Um, I don't know if it's the millennial reign of Christ or... I understand. I don't really... You see, we labor day and night uh, contributing our quota to help believers become matured. Are we together? You make people become matured by giving them understanding. Now, before I answer, I, I don't mean in any way, I know that there are different denominations, different Christian sects with their understandings, about heaven and all of that and um, i'm not giving you a denominational opinion are we together now there are many instances in scripture that lets us know that there is heaven are we together now very very important i, I think that um, it doesn't make sense to begin to make all those arguments genesis 1 verse 1 the very first verse in the bible in the beginning god created what and the earth now i think that alone answers first verse first chapter in the whole bible in the beginning god created so don't say where is it created god created the heavens and notice he never said the heaven heavens different planes paul himself gave us an example he said he was caught up to the third heaven that means there are other dimensions the psalmist said the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord so we know that there are different planes but there is heaven hallelujah are we together now the bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above not just the sky are we together now acts chapter one when jesus was about to be taken when he lifted to heaven two angels appeared and told the people men and brethren why look ye you know this and that and that he said this same jesus is it not the Acts chapter 1? Let's use it to answer. At least let's use the words of Jesus. Acts chapter 1 verse 1. Jesus is going to heaven now. And he's speaking to us. Or the angels are responding. Acts chapter 1. I, I don't want to quote it wrongly. Verse, verse 10. Verse 10. I know that when you read from verse 9. Let's start from verse 9. It gives us an impression like he just vanished. He did not just vanish. A cloud received him. A cloud received him. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. Verse 10, please, quickly. And while they looked steadfastly towards where? Heaven. As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Verse, verse 11. Which he also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into where? Into where? So we know that heaven is the habitation. The heaven of heavens is where Jesus himself lives. There is a place, a spiritual location called heaven. 
it says shall also come in like manner as ye have seen him go into where heaven are we together so that issue of saying um, there is no heaven is not true please the bible does not negate that the fact that there is heaven the bible clearly tells us in many instances old and new testament that there is heaven jesus himself i want to give you the ultimate proof now jesus himself made us to know that there is heaven in matthew chapter 6 when he was teaching us how to pray he said our father who art where he didn't say our father who art around our father who art in an exact location heaven from that point we hallow your name your kingdom come so please let's rest this issue once and for all there is a real place called heaven and and um, there are people there right now are we together and we hope that one day we'll join them now what we need to explain is the fact that the bible says the old heaven and the old earth will be rolled away like a curtain and then a new heaven and a new earth will come it is true that that very habitation of god will eventually be transported back to this realm but it won't be in the similitude of these three dimensions so it's not like we're going to have another three-dimensional realm no there will be another atmosphere that comes to occupy this space this is the sovereignty of god this is part of the mysteries of the kingdom where this old heaven and old earth will be rolled away to frankly speaking we don't know the bible does not reveal that uh, this is part of the information that is contained in the age to come are we together now that's why there are ages to come that carry certain informations that are important for the saints so there is heaven my dear and every time you preach to people and they argue with you don't turn your evangelism into debate politely decline you may look foolish don't say no i can't let this go like this let it go like that so that god will be glorified yes my dear praise the lord my name is christiana kadri thank you my question is sir like somebody prophesied to you you're going to marry a man of god and you have been waiting <laughs> okay many ladies are happy Okay, let, let's get the question, please. And Someone prophesied to you. And nobody. And said you will marry a pastor. Yes. And you have been waiting. And the person has been waiting because one miracle service, I saw you, sir, you prophesied to one lady that she's going to marry a pastor. And one day again, I'm listening to one man of God. He was saying, anybody that prophesied, if he's a man of God, that the thing did not happen, continue waiting. Even when you die waiting, continue waiting. So, <laughs> I'm asking that to... When somebody prophesied to you, you're going to marry a pastor, and the pastor is not coming, you continue waiting. What okay. to do? That's a very good question, I think. We can use it. It's not just prophesying about marriage. It could be about anything. Praise the Lord. Now, um, I, I understand what she's saying, and she's communicating probably the pain of a lot of people. Because over time, we men of God have spoken to people, and there are times that for others, the prophecy have even come with precise detail. You are going to marry a man called uh, Ebenezer. He's in media department. The day you will see him is wearing a white cloth, dark trouser. He's holding a camera. If he snaps you, just know. <laughs> now, come Ebenezer. Now, Ebenezer. Come now, Ebenezer. Now, Ebenezer, you now come for koinonia. And Ebenezer is just snapping around and focuses on you. And your heart is beating. It's true. Ebenezer snaps you and goes to marry somebody else. Are we together now? And now you are waiting and you are frustrated. Now, there are three things here I want to explain. I know we have all laughed, but let's listen closely now. The Bible says that even the ministration of the gifts must be done according to the measure of grace. Are we together? Two of us can be prophets, but the grace, the access to authority and strength, the spiritual ranking that authorizes us in the dispensing is like you have two doctors. One is just doing his housemanship, another one is doing, another one is a consultant. They are all called doctors, but are they the same? They are not the same at all. Are we together now? This is how it is spiritually. 
So when we, when there is the ministration of the word, notice sometimes when you see me wanting to talk to people, I call people out by the spirit and I just keep quiet. Because of what the Lord is communicating to me, sometimes it's like a feedback mechanism. I'm checking in my spirit to make sure that this is not an interplay of the flesh and to also make sure if God wants me to reveal it to them. Sometimes you see me and I talk to people. I take away the mic because the information is very sensitive and may is something that can be embarrassing. Are we together now? But let me tell you sincerely. Let me tell you this sincerely. One thing I know about marriage and we have discussed that. Make reference to my message um challenging discussions on late marriage i think we touched that area where the issue of god said overrides the word of god the bible tells us hebrews chapter 1 god who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us through the prophets has in this last day spoken to us through his son which he has appointed to be heir over all things and we know that that son is the living logos the word of God. And so, whether it is Joshua Selman, I'm not telling you to doubt the word. By the grace of God, we press into the word of God to make sure that we bring accurate words. And there is a track record. You can follow up the things that have been prophesied over people. Some of them have come to pass. Some of them are already on the way. Praise the Lord. Now, um, no matter what it is, if a man of God gives you a prophetic word, and after a season... You do not, for instance, let's use marriage. I prophesy to this lady now and I tell her a pastor is coming. And Michael comes to her. And let's assume Michael is just a businessman. You know that the natural tendency is for her to drive him away. And say, please, you are not a pastor. Um, he may be a pastor when he marries her. God didn't lie. Are we together? But sometimes... It can also be that there is need for a check. In fact, sincerely speaking, let me tell you, it is very, it is very praiseworthy to go back to God again. We have seen instances in the Bible where God spoke and under certain circumstances, he had to speak new things again. Are we together? An example is Isaiah 38, when he spoke to Isaiah to speak to Hezekiah. Remember that scripture. He came and told him, Hezekiah, put your house in order. You will not recover from this sickness. You are going to die. Are we Bible students? So when I, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and invoked the mercy of God, God sent Isaiah again. Are we together? To go back. So there is a possibility. It's not a doctrine. But through scripture, we see that there is a possibility. Um, the alignment of man can make God say new things. I'll give you an instance. If this lady is your wife, I will um, example, example. If this lady is your wife, I'm not showing you your wife. If this lady is your wife, of, of course, let me just put a, a little word of blessing. We are proud of our ladies. And if I say it and God is, 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 is directing you there, there's nothing wrong. Ladies, you should give me a happy meal tomorrow. Are we together? But now this is the example. If this is your wife, truly, truly, and she says, I'm not doing, do you think God is going to yoke you and tell you you will not marry any, anybody again because of her carelessness and disobedience? Are we together now? God will not put you to ransom. The same way if God calls you into ministry and you say no, will he force you? Will he kill you? The same way he, he tells you that you should surrender all to him. When you refuse, he will not force you. There's hellfire already to settle that issue. So he will not force you. Please, I want us to understand that the plans of God can change. It's his purposes that are eternal. This is a revelation that will deliver many of us right now. The plans of God can change. God planned that you fly Ari to Lagos. And something happens. God will tell you to enter if it's in a cheap transport. The plans have changed. But the destination is still Lagos. But when you sit down and say it must be Arik or it must be flight. Are we together now? 
in scripture again and again for instance do you know it was never god's desire for men to have earthly kings rule over them when you read in the bible it was his desire that he remains their king but the people out of anger and rebellion they say give us a king and god had to make prophet samuel to go and anoint saul the son of kish to become a king are we together now yes it was never even god's desire listen it was never god's desire for david for the tribe of david to be the lineage with which jesus will come he was supposed to be saul are we together but saul made a costly mistake that costed him that opportunity remember when he went and he was off um, giving the offering by himself they asked him to wait for the coming of the prophet but he could not wait because the people were murmuring and being a king he was not a priest are we together because in ancient times there were kings priests and prophets they operated in different dimensions occasionally the priests were also the prophets like we have in the case of samuel he was both a priest and a prophet are we together now and so in that incidence um saul now start he made sacrifices and while he finished samuel just came and samuel told him you have done foolishly he said if you had waited for me to come and offer the sacrifice god would have established your throne forever so it would not be the lion of the tribe of or, or the, the root of david it would now be the root of saul again we see that the first person god called in the bible was not abraham the first person god called in the bible was his father terah terah was tired and he said i'm not doing and then god looked for abraham are we together now so that's very very important i think that um we need to understand this my my dear if even if it's me that prophesied to you and you are tired come and meet me come for counseling and say let's let's hear god let's pray about this issue again especially where there is a god-fearing very serious and responsible brother who is ready to marry and is coming around you you are hanging the person while waiting for the pastor to see if the pastor will come or not don't dilly dial find the man of god if the person who prophesied to you is still within reach find him if you discern pride and arrogance in him that he's embarrassed to recheck whether his hearing was correct go and look for another man of god to speak to you are we together now i know there's a lady who came one time i think from portacot coming to confirm because a man of god described somebody a fair person and she had been waiting and there was somebody who really loved god when she came i prayed for her and i said i, I wish you a happy married life and they are married now happily married to the glory of god she would have been waiting forever for for a, a yellow person to appear so praise the lord let's celebrate jesus hallelujah you see all these questions we have attempted reveal three things number one it is costly to be ignorant over spiritual things are we together it is costly just a little question and answer session but it has exposed us to a lot of things it is costly i trust that with this little question and answer session it has activated our appetite for more of god you see if you do not understand scripture you will be deceived in many ways you notice that every question i attempt to answer i show you a scripture to support it because you cannot afford to answer questions with opinions and you will not know god's opinion if you don't study 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 to show yourself the bible says study to show yourself approved a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word praise the lord psalms 82 from verse 5 says they know not neither will they understand he said they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course so it is important for us to be good students of the word not religiously studying it but studying it with everything that we have hallelujah number two corporate fellowship is very important is part of the principles and the requirement for your spiritual growth you can see that a platform like this has afforded us an opportunity to know more and to learn a few things to strengthen our spiritual life psalm 133 how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity 
it is like the oil that comes from the head of Aaron, right? Down to his bird and to his cat and all of that. He said, dear, God had commanded the blessing. So it's very important. Corporate fellowship is important for our spiritual strengthening. Hallelujah. And then number three, ultimately, it reveals to us the necessity of the person of the Holy Spirit. Worship team sang the song beautifully. We're going to sing that song again. And, and then we'll sing that song that came. I can't even remember what we sang, but try to remember it, worship team. We'll sing those two songs again very beautifully. The Holy Spirit. This place is called Koinonia. It's our intimacy with him and our partnership with him that affords us the opportunity to access light and access his wisdom. The Bible says, ride prosperously because of truth. Right? You will only prevail by the truth you know. Not the truth that is available. The truth you know. It can be available, but if you do not know it, you will still die. We forget many times. We forget. We are asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. But you are healthy. You go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs. Hanging their legs for six months. And you hear them singing praises. Day and night with their legs hanging. If you can be grateful. Not just tonight. If you make it a lifetime. I guarantee you. There is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper. You will, you, will, you will thank your way to the throne. You will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne. It's an unbeatable secret of greatness. I thank God all the time. I thank people all the time. Gratitude. A simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man. Hallelujah. Every, everywhere that I go, everything that I do, I'll hear it, son, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my testimony. I'll hear it, son, I'll hear it, go by gauging our mama. Help me some. minutes you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes
Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Oh God, you are good and your mercy endures forever. If the Lord had not been by our side, now may Koinonia say, Thou, oh God, art the shield for us. You are our glory, the lifter up of our heads. You are our glory, the lifter up of our heads. For the things that you have done, for the battles that you have won, for the things that you have done, for the battles that you have won, only you alone are worthy. Lord, we magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus, protector, redeemer, provider, defender, announcer, lifter, sustainer. We thank you. We thank you that the counsel of darkness has not prevailed over your people. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for signs, for wonders, for food, for shelter. We thank you for your faithfulness, for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn. We thank you for miracle jobs. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for our families. Oh God, you have been good. Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give it thanks. Three more minutes. to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone oh God deserve the glory of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done 
and the battles you ever won only you are worthy of our praise we magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. Oh, 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time He says then they cried unto the Lord there is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud until God opened my eyes every time you see them say in their distress they cried unto God in their distress crying unto God is more than talking crying unto God first starts with a revelation that Lord if you don't help me in this issue I am finished it's a revelation for as long as you have options you will never see God arise in your life until you exhaust all your options and you come to a point where you say Lord they gave me the drugs in the hospital but I acknowledge that is crying unto God that you say Lord you are my priority if you don't give me a husband I cannot get one if you don't give me a job there is no job for me crying to the lord is more than just saying oh god help me blind Bartimaeus cried and this was his cry thou son of david or not thou miracle worker i know you i know your power will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this i'm blind but I've heard about you. That you are the God who can wipe the tears of people. I've heard about you. That you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you. That you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble. Stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves tear off. The waves that are killing you that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then as a result they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done at this point is if it is with my intellect 
if it's with my money if it's with my connection i have failed i cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before i minister we are going to cry to god listen i told you crying to god is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me i know this and tonight i cry to you the bible says he can calm the storm he can calm the storm oh yes he can lift your voice and cry to your maker thou son of david let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight pray lord there is nothing new about my situation you have done it before the bible is full of records of your faithfulness how you parted the red sea before people how overnight you turned the captivity of men and women pray lord i don't know how you will do it but i know you can do it they cried unto the lord in their trouble he said call upon me in the day of trouble cry to the lord my rent has expired i'm not working i have no idea but i cry to you i have multiple carryovers i don't know what will happen to me but i cry to you thou O oh god the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story i've not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou ebenezer arise for me you are my ebenezer the helper of man god can help you listen to me god can help you god can help you they cried unto the lord in their distress cry unto the lord and watch what he will do in your life don't give him options don't give him options lord you are my only source i cry to you pray my only hope of entering into my desired heaven some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will trust in the name of our god Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. No. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord. To the one more time, Lord, step in, Lord, step in, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Hallelujah! Shabbalah, the Lord is healing a lady right now please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue i'm seeing a lady you came here with severe pain on your neck check it now 
check it now the lord is touching you the lord is touching you i'm seeing an elderly man in this place um you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region the lord has just touched that man right now he's an elderly man i don't know where that person is please testify check yourself and immediately you find out you are healed make your way to the front make your way to the front god is touching people right now i don't know who i'm seeing an ear god is touching someone's ear it's like i don't know if it's an ear issue but god is touching it right now god is touching it right now god is touching it right now please check yourself and make your way right now right now let's just have two or three of those people god is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you check yourself now you will find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the um, this area where i'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves sir? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point praise the lord uh, i have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes okay and i'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing for some, yes for some years i have been experienced pain here pain he, at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region yes. yes you know i gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdomen. Better. and how, better. how about better. now exactly. it's better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected wow the power of god is coming on you it's perfected right now never to return to you in the name of jesus please check it sir check it check it right now check it it's Check getting it. better. Yes. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have catar. So this thing block my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So now I'm I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this, this, I'm seeing this has to do with. Yes. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be before yes, again. Yes. Is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months, it comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear, but... When you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone? 
Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. your family here is the time for the visitation where is our family please come there is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now I see that family please where is our daddy and our mommy please appreciate them as they come enough of the nonsense of darkness please celebrate them as they come miracles everywhere miracles everywhere Lord, we see miracles everywhere right now, right now, right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now. But I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her. She's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams. And it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family. And this is already following this lady. Because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. Is starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God. And saying Lord will you not wipe our tears in this family. But tonight we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. There are many people who can help you. But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? Adam. What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. He's your father, right? Where is he? Adam, Nasara State. In Nasara State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family 
enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, sir. number two and three prayer requests yes, sir. look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it miracle read it miracle in your family yes, that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adam miracles everywhere i see, see miracles everywhere right now right now right now right now see miracles, I see miracles everywhere Lord, we see miracles miracles everywhere The spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the spirit. I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people from Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people from Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren. Help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher. She's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing that has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir, I'm going to pray for you. Mommy, I will minister to you. Madam, the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over. The crying is over. Right now as I speak, the power of God is coming on you. The Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over. Right now, the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ by the anointing of the holy spirit pouring what looks like vials of oil now i curse this spirit i address you by the power of the holy spirit let this family go now 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 this curse that has tied down the family even the lawful captive shall be delivered he said for i will contend with them that contend with you right now the power of god is touching people i see deliverance 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 fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of god there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now bring them out deliverance for families outside i'm seeing the angels of the lord go outside outside the power of god is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now right now we see miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere we everywhere right now, right now. hallelujah right now. lift your hands father where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer that from the village now i'm not one who just talks so much about village but this one is from the village i see an attack at the count of three one two three from the village those arrows back to sender shakatata leketata reketatata from the village i see enchantments from the village i see altars i see covens i set them on fire 
I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village. Speakings of death, enchantments of death. Yahweh Yahweh The name above all names Yahweh We call you Yahweh I'm ready to pray for you now. I didn't just leave you. I need to pray for you. My God, there is massive deliverance going on in this place. My dear, lift your hands where you are. An angel of the Lord is touching you right now. Right now. Mama, an angel of the Lord is touching you. He's doing something in your husband's life. Your husband's life. There is a miracle that is happening. Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I mean, that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here. I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something I'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like I don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady 
I curse that devil. I curse you back to hell. Back to hell from where you came from. Hallelujah. Mommy, please stand up. Let me pray for you, man. You can stand up, please. I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that the tears have come to an end. He's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that people have those kinds of things. But there are people with those things. It's like an aura on you. As I was ministering to her, the Lord said, minister to the house. Father, where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing locate them. Inside and outside. That spell of bad luck. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Justina. The Lord is bringing miracles to your family. Miracles to your family. I'm seeing a lady from, is it Oka? Oka? That should be East. I'm, I'm, Oka? Is there anyone from like that? I'm seeing a lady. Our minister generally will pray for the sick now, but I just want to flow. Oka? Oka? Is there someone like that? Please, if you are like that, you can make your way to the front. The Lord wants me to pray for that family. My dear, you with a white hair tie, that lady, you turning back, lift your hands where you are. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family. Lord Jesus, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus, where you are standing, I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are from there? You are from Oka? Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you. I want you to know that everything that does not represent God. Huh? And everyone pursuing you in your dream. And disturbing you. It must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you. There is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her, then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. 
for the deliverance she will see it in a dream it's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out it's a dream connoting deliverance father visit this family out in the name of jesus christ the student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of jesus christ glorify yourself oh god i curse this spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands everyone before i begin to minister to the sick god is bringing deliverance to families right now we are going to shout jesus at the count of three this is not just to you but god is stepping into families some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things devils lift your hands everybody at the count of three you shout jesus at the top of your voice and the power of god will move mightily in this place father in the name of jesus christ i pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity right now i pray by the power of the holy spirit every family shakatatata, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now at the count of three let that shout be like a code in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kappa takata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay 
lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three Oh, I bring you deliverance in the name of Jesus. I cause those spirits, causing delay. You must leave now, 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 now. Shaba ba ba ba, shake te te te, kapra ta ka ta ta ta, shake te 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 te, reke te te te, go 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 go. One two of them. Shaka ta 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 ba na da ba, em protoko to pariata. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. yes 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 prophesy i'm moving forward this is the ninth month by the blood of jesus i'm moving forward i'm moving forward under this anointing hallelujah hallelujah i like you to shout after me Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus, I bring those gates down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Come on Koinonia. Everything. Every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every claim. The devil has. Over my life. Over my family. By the blood of Jesus. I declare that I'm free. 
by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every curse every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed-Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray self time in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we're going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time 
Forget about your situation. Just prophesy. Just prophesy. You may not know how it will happen. Just prophesy. One more time. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. All the years, all the fortunes, every opportunity, every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God, I command them to come back to me. Go ahead and pray. This is a serious prayer point. All the years, all the fortunes, all the opportunities, all the access that have passed your life. Pray like Samson. Pray like Hezekiah. Pray. Let there be a restoration. And I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit. When Jesus was born, certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star. And the moment they announced to Herod, a king is born. Herod said, ah, a king. He said, please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him. But his intention was to kill him. You are going to pray over your destiny. Please take this prayer point seriously. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood. Every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus. Release it now. Pray, pray. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. My prophetic potential. Release it. Release it. Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk Hallelujah. We're going to do two things at the same time right now. Listen. If there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body, it's time for it to die. Are we together now? Are we together? Now, please just address these people. We're going to have all those people come and line up. While that is happening, please, I beg you, if you do not write anything in your prayer request, please, if you need papers, maybe the ushers can pass it. 
we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch on your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you the devil is a liar he must let you go tonight that was stolen We don't just lay hands on people i know that it takes a lot of time but it's the way god is directing us it's not just ordinary hand laying it's a prophetic point of contact some of you are coming out for sickness but the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness is that the mama with cancer okay no no problem no problem she can come if she cannot stand just give her a seat let her sit down please those who are weak and cannot stand please you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse the, the woman with cancer if she, if she cannot come just i'll minister to her everything that was lost make sure you are writing your prayer request please everything that was stolen shall be returned hallelujah all of you that are coming out i want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us there are all kinds of ministries this ministry is like a spiritual factory it's like a spiritual workshop it's where we dirty our hands on the job and as i minister to us please i want our hearts to be open don't just stand watching the power of god touch people the moment i lay hands on you and minister to you i want you to receive you can go back to your seat some of you will be under the anointing it doesn't matter as i pray for you you don't have to scrounge i will lay hands on everybody it's going to be a quick walk it will take time Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind, bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do father in the name of jesus i pray over your people there are powers tying down their destinies but you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform let there be miracles go ahead all of us we can join praying in tongues while i pray for these people occasionally worship team you will help us lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at this i don't know they can't see it on screen it's not clear this is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus, right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know me, man. You know me, man.
prayer point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything yeah. hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing what's wrong I'm paralytic paralyzed mama can she talk yes mama for how long because I paralyzed did. yes i went to the house and met she can't walk on her own she can't walk very well mama in the name of jesus christ i curse this spirit it's okay in the name of jesus mama look at me in jesus name lift your hand lift it go don't look at just lift it Put it down. Lift it again. Paralyzed hand. Look at this. Look at this. Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on. Give Jesus it's praise. Miracle Come. say everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Paralyzed. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right. We see miracles. We see miracles. We see miracles. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles everywhere. I break the power of paralysis. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, you are the son that brought her. You are, she's not your mom, yes. but you brought her. Yes. I pray for you. May you never lack helpers in your life. Because you are a young man, you are not related to her. Yet you carried mama out of compassion. This miracle is because of you. I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you. All the days of your life, may helpers be around you like this. In the name of Jesus Christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of jesus christ god bless you celebrate mama god bless you we see miracles everywhere make sure you submit your prayer request everywhere You are in ministry i want you to come out I, I don't mean you want to do ministry you are actively in ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister i'll send you back i assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of god please don't embarrass yourself 
We are going to pray for everybody. But if you are a minister, come, go ahead. Don't be afraid. We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request prophesy. And we will we'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might is not by power Lord as I lay hands upon your servants let something new something divine my God I pray activate the gifts of the spirit in them activate the operations of signs and wonders let utterance be given unto them let their lives oh God produce results Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New levels. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New dimensions. Fresh grace. My goodness. Fire is falling. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh anointing. New anointing. New dimension. Gifts of the Spirit. Vision. Three. Prophecies, multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you, let it be a new season in the name of Jesus. New season, new season, new season. I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace, fresh grace. stretch your hands towards the prayer request unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come please stretch your hands it's a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as i'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening i'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone
I release angels. I activate angels. I release angels. I activate angels. In the crowd right now. I turn this request to testimonies. I activate angels. Lord, solve problems, solve problems. Let burdens be removed. I activate angels. I activate angels. Happen, oh God, we cry unto you, O oh God of Jacob, we cry unto you, O oh God of Israel, unto thee that answers prayer, shall all flesh come, we cry unto you, we call upon your name, call the night of people in the day, turn their morning into joy, O oh God. Hallelujah. I tell you, mighty miracles are happening. I see all kinds of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit. Father, turn these requests into testimonies. The way I walk on them, oh God, these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here you're a visitor this is your first time Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation, risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandeka lekoroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday. 
um, this is not our usual venue our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension but we thank you for coming I bless you in the name of Jesus and I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle in the name of Jesus you will return with a strange miracle some of you even before you get home your miracles will be waiting for you some of you this night you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open some of you this night God will show you what has been happening in your life God will show you direction I see God giving a lot of you direction direction for the next level you will hear his voice very accurately in the vision of the night in the vision of the night he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ we bless you for those of you who have never been here I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us those of you who have been here and we have received you you can just go back to your seat with a blessing but those of you who have never been here you've not put down your name we need your names and details I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meet now you be God God, you know be my name. You know be my name. Now him be God. Almighty God, you know be my name. Two more times. Now you be God. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Kogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of God comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so I want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears, no more tears. No more tears. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this please help them I feel like fire on my hands everyone represented here and every family called jobless right now in the name of Jesus I release an anointing for supernatural jobs 
Receive it, receive it, receive it. Help them, please. Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. Makata kata tata pakata. Shekata kata kata tata tata. The anointing that came on Elijah, that he guarded his loins and ran. Ma bro toto pekete. Lekete te kototata. Receive that anointing right now. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay. In the name of Jesus. Everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise, I declare that to their shame, my God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. Everyone who says, can anything good come out of your life? I prophesy to you, in this season, God will use your life to answer them. God will use your life to answer them. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names whoever needs to come into your life in this season no let's start it this way whoever needs to go out of your life this season in the name of Jesus if their presence has been causing you pain and setback I break you free from them now wrong associations be free from them now. Wrong relationships. We break it now. Wrong soul ties. We break it now. Wrong connections. We break it now. Wrong fraternities. We break it now. We break it now. We break it now. Break it now. I command them out of your life. Out of your family. Listen. Some of our parents. The trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave they keep influencing them to make useless decisions i pray for every family any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of akitofel today we send them packing from their homes packing from your homes in the name of jesus Until Samuel appeared, the destiny of Saul remained covered. Until Jesus appeared, 12 years of hemorrhage continued. Whoever must appear in your life, whoever must appear, Magato Topata. You hear me talk of destiny helpers all the time. Your next level comes from God, but through the hands of a destiny helper. From the realm of the spirit, Destiny help us, I call you. From the north, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, wherever you are, locate God's people. Come into their lives. In the name of Jesus. Every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of Jesus I release my faith upon with you receive academic miracles now 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 we activate angels to faculties angels to departments angels to faculties 
faculty of art science environmental design medicine engineering administration education we release them now miracles in the name of jesus that favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them i pray for you when the favor of god came upon my fever shed saul looked for him and blessed him receive favor right now unusual favor uncommon favor uncommon favor in the name of jesus before i pray the last prayer point listen if you're here and you've not given your heart to jesus christ please i can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because i want to pray something dangerous if you're here you've never given your heart to the lord please listen inside and outside or you once gave your heart to jesus christ but for some reason you see they're already coming out follow them you found out that you need to make your ways right please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front god bless you bless you they are coming koinonia celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you i believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way god bless you sirs. bless you sirs. celebrate them jesus is calling you god bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning please if they are coming clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged motivate them clap for them thank you jesus come run to jesus christ he will give you a new beginning if the holy spirit is telling you to come out come out don't sit back there don't sit back there many of you are hearing the nudging of the spirit he's saying why are you sitting down don't argue with him make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters I want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I ask you to forgive me my sins I receive Jesus Christ into my heart be my Lord be my Savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning I receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you right now I stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you I pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh I release grace upon you to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of jesus christ i bless you congratulations in the name of jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of jesus please lift your hands for the last prayer point I want to pray for the gift of the spirit to fall upon your life this is why i said we have to pray for them please lift your hands just a quick walk in one minute some of you have passionately desired certain things some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand god is speaking to you there are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of god you are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction there are some of us that are trusting god for newer levels of the anointing the gifts of the spirit please lift your hands in one minute i'm going to pray 
there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gifts of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter Nothing dies in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus and be blessed. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 